Hey guys and gals, this is Blocky of the Broken Legion of the Gamers, and in this video, the main topic of the video is going to be my unboxing and initial impressions of the Elugo Mars Saturn carrying station, but I'm also going to show you guys how to, my process for taking models from build plate all the way to finishing the carrying process. And Let's get started with the video. The first thing you're going to need to do to get the gloves, to get the models off the build plate, definitely you're going to want some gloves because this resin stuff can get kind of nasty, but it's really not as bad as everybody makes it out to be. You just don't want to get it in your mouth and your nose and your eyes or anything like that. So, of course, you take the top off of your printer and take the build plate out. And sit there and fight your print off the build plate. As a bonus, taking the print off the build plate, the base came off the supports, which is good. Now, what I'm using to clean my prints is an ultrasonic cleaner with mean green in it. Let's see if I can get all the prints off the supports and good. The prints are coming off the supports. It's definitely a good idea to try and get them off the supports before you throw them in the, the cleaner. It just makes a cleaning, the cleaning process a lot better. And You're going to get more resin off because no resin's going to get stuck in the supports. Now let's get them. Now let's put the build plate back on the printer. Get this nonsense out of the way. I'll deal with that after the video. And just for grins, let's so I. I lose as little time as possible. Let's start up the next print. Okay. Now I'm I'm running my prints through the through the um, ultrasonic cleaner for 280 seconds. That's about four and a half minutes. Okay, now that's gone. Now let's get into the unboxing of the video. Um, we'll get into the unboxing of the video. Is that in? Yes, that's in the screen. Now, when you open up the box, you're greeted to this view. Now, you can take this top piece of styrofoam out. Here's a little operator's manual. Here's the actual, as you can see down, this is what the inside of the curing station looks like you have two strips of seven, seven, 405 nanometer UV LED lights, and it's got, and it has this, um, what's it called? It has this reflective coating all the way around it, and it's got a beautiful window that you can see through, nice and hard. That's gonna be hard to crack. Then you have what, what should have been in there, you have this bundle of stuff and a plastic bottom plate. This is aluminum, this is plastic. Okay. It came in one piece, who cares? Now we'll break into we'll break into this bundle right here. In this bundle.
in this bundle you get your power adapter and you get a solar powered turntable. Now to, I priced I priced out the stuff I wanted to make my cure station and it was going to cost me $50. This was $60 with free shipping on Amazon and I got it overnight. Now to set set this up you pull the you pull the um, turntable out of the box. We'll get rid of the box. You have the clear plate for the turntable. And you have the solar powered turntable itself. This one can take a battery, but you don't need a battery because it's going to run off of the UV power. It run off the UV lights that your machine is going to use to cure the prints. When you set this up, you got to take this this clear plastic shenanigans off. You put the turntable in there. You put this on top of the turntable. And that's complete. Now on the back of the, the machine, you have this little power port. You unbag your... You unbag your... What's it called? This, um, you unbag your power adapter. We'll just get rid of that bag. I wish they would really start using more environmentally friendly packaging in most things. Now, you undo your wire, which it comes with a pretty sizable wire, so that's a good thing. Plug in your wire. Then, plug your power adapter into the back. You fully set up the machine. The only downfall I see of this machine so far is you don't have a power switch to turn it off. The second you plug it in, you get that light. So now let's set this up to, to cure. The model I'm curing is a voxel, it's from Voxel House, it's from their, their weapons pack. This is the rocket launcher. I'm using a small model so I can use a low print, a low cure time and you guys can see what's going on. Now I'm going to take you off the caddy. Now, as you can see up top, your timer's lit up. We're going to set this for three minutes to be safe. We're going to hit the power button. And it's off to the races. That's curing. Now, our prints that went into the ultrasonic cleaner are done. Now, I'm using straight mean green from the bottle. And this right here is a, mo a blood... This right here is the Air of Kong model from Titan Forge. It's going to be for for blood fields in the Amazon army. And there's still some supports and basically the ultrasonic cleaner took off all the excess resin. Now I'm going to stick all of the parts into warm water and get any any of the mean grain off, warm water. You got to make sure when you use the curing station, you got to make sure that's dry. The parts dry or there's going to be problems. Um, I'm just going to leave that in the... Okay, why didn't my... Okay, the curing station went off. Now, to get excess resin off, I'm going to put you back right here. And after the warm water, if there's still any excess resin... This feels clean. You can always take you can always take a toothbrush, put some water on it, and brush any excess resin residue off of the model. And then put it in a separate tray to dry off and wait to be cured. Now since we have time, I'm gonna do that with a cup with all of the pieces. It's just good practice and it gets all of the resin off. If you're really 
If you're really nervous about resin, you can wear your gloves gloves while you do this. Me, when I'm done with this video, I'm going to go wash my hands right away, so I'm not really concerned about any resin being on the model. What is this blue crap in here? Oh, that's why. Wrong toothbrush. That's the toothbrush I use when I strip gas lines cars. Don't worry, I got all the, the blue paint off that. And this is going to be... This is going to be emptied before I clean my next prints. Okay, we've still got a minute left on that cure time. So... So we'll sit here and just gab for another 50 seconds. Now this is available for $60. This carrying station is available for $60 on Amazon. And this is what it looks like when it's running. What I like is the window right here because you can watch your print turning around, curing the whole nine yards, and you can see if there's any problems. They, um, Elugu says for a print 30 millimeters around or less, you can do this in two minutes. But they say if it's bigger than 30 mil millimeters around or it has a lot of detail, you can add time appropriately. I just did three minutes just to be safe. Now, our print is cured as per the timer. Let's see how it feels. This went in there and it was rather sticky. And no, this feels like a totally cured cured print. It cured better than I'm gonna stand this up like this because it didn't get the bottom, but it got you can see it got the top and everything. It got got the back. There's still now I'm gonna go put this back on. <clears throat> I'll put this on for a minute. 30 seconds to be safe so we'll watch it turn around and we'll shoot the shit okay when i when i priced out this stuff to make my cure my, make my curing chamber my curing solution it came to around 45 50 dollars this costs 60 on amazon so for uh, 10 to 15 dollars more i don't have to mess around and custom fabricate a cure station this one has a t has a timer on it. The one that I would build wouldn't have a timer on it. And <clears throat> this is also by a company that I trust in Elgu. I have the Elgu Mars, so why not the Elgu carrying station? Elgu Elgu also, Elgu also has their own branded um, ultrasonic cleaner, but. That's $150. The ultrasonic cleaner I'm using is an iSonic that I got for 40 bucks. So the way I look at it, I got a cleaning solution and a and a curing solution for a hundred dollars. That's more than that's less than half the price of the any cubic wash and cure station that I was eyeing up. So I think this this combination right here is a win. And in the description, I'm gonna put the the Amazon, the Amazon link to the Elgu carrying station, and then you can go on to Amazon or go to like, you can probably go to Target or any other store, and you can pr price around and get the ultrasonic cleaner that would fit your budget and your needs. Okay, now let's check this out. To this would, and this, this this carrying station can be set anywhere from. 30 seconds to nine and a half minutes of cure time. So, but they say don't do more than 40 minutes. Okay, now let's check this out. And now that this was hit with the curing, this is totally cured. It's not sticky, no excess residue, the whole nine yards. This is ready to go onto a gas lines car. And you guys are gonna see this in a future, a future video because I printed this up for a specific gas lines 
car. But this came, this prank came from Uncle Tony at Foxhill House. And I'm not sure if this exact print is up yet. He just sent me these this fi- these files a couple days ago. So I'm not sure if this is up on the Voxel House store. But if you like this rocket launcher, and this was actually scaled down to 60%. This thing's huge at the full 100%. But it was too big for what I needed it for. But my initial impressions of the Elg- Elgu Mercury curing station it's worth every bit of the sixty dollars it's the build quality is phenomenal it's nice hard sturdy aluminum you get the turntable with it that's a ten dollar value right right there then the whole cure station now if you're gonna make i was gonna try and make a cure station with with tupperware the the 405 nanometer uv light string and tin foil and a Tupperware and the the turntable that was going to run me about forty five to fifty dollars for everything. I got this for sixty. I'm completely happy with with this, and this even has a nice little handle. The Tupperware I I would have gotten wouldn't have a handle, so I could have poss- it could have possibly slipped out of my hands and broke the model that I was trying to cure. I think this is a killer value for. This is a killer value for what you're getting. And truthfully, I would definitely recommend it. The link to this on Amazon will be in the video description. You guys, I'd recommend picking one of these up before they sell out. Because if they sell out with the whole beer bug pandemic, God knows how long it'll take for this to get in, get back in. I know it took a while for the Mars the Elgu Mars Pro to get back in stock because of the beer bug. It'll probably be the same with this. I'm surprised there wasn't more information about this out. This came out in December, and I just found out about it now. But that's it for this video, guys. If you like what you saw, hit the thumbs up button. If you have a resin printer and you are you're strongly considering getting this, shoot me a comment in the comments section. If you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, um, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified anytime I put up any future content. And as always, support local wargaming here at the channel. We support Toy Wiz in Nanuet, New York on Route 59 right across the street from the Dunkin' Donuts. You guys have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon.